casino employees of Reddit. What is the worst you have ever seen someone handle a loss? I was security at a casino for a few years. Saddest story for me was this older gentleman let's call him Tom for privacy sake. Tom would frequent the casino every day spending anywhere from $200 minus $300. I had striked up lots of conversations with him because he was a regular and he was genuinely kind person who I enjoyed seeing. One day Tom comes in and I can tell he is upset. I don't make anything of it. But after seeing the guy for a few years almost every day. That day he looked really off so a couple hours go by and I track him down and ask how's the day going? Any big wins? Just general chit chat. He starts sobbing. Tears running down his face. His wife had passed away from sudden cardiac death is what I believe he called it. The night before. And he was devastated. We talked for quite a while. I tried comforting him while he played the machines. I had noticed he was betting extremely large. $200 minus $300 per spin on the slot machine. I knew that was a lot for him. But I didn't say anything because it's not my business and I was sure it's a coping mechanism for him at the moment. Doing something he loved when he just lost the love of his life. Hours later I see him heading out the door. I run up to him. Catch him and wish him all the best and that I'll see him soon. He smiled. Said thanks for the chat and thank you for the condolences and left. He booked a room in our hotel and killed himself that night. A little while later I find out through some other staff who were sort of friends of his family. That he had spent all of his money. Every dime that evening spinning high limit on the machines. I'm assuming because he wanted a little enjoyment before he took his life. Still makes me upset I didn't invite him or over or do anything else because I knew he was in pain. One guy was so angry at his losses that he took 200 quarters. Cut them in half. Taped one side and proceeded to put them in various slot machines. Once they entered the machine, it would jam it up. Was a waitress in casino establishment 10 years ago. Suicides were not common there but they did happen. Saddest was an Asian woman who hung herself in the toilets. She lost 20k or so from memory and was not a high roller type. 3-4 days later her car was to be towed from the underground car park. Sadly she had left her two fluffy dogs in there and nobody knew. Poor things were dead. The establishment then put on parking patrol officers who check cars every few hours. They would find, alive, dogs and kids in there far too often. I quit after 6 months as was tired of watching miserable zombies. Worked as a security guard on night shift. The biggest losers are in a fantasy land where they don't even notice. Never actually saw addicts get worried about the future. Former table dealer here. I've had drunk guys tell me I'm the worst dealer ever. I suck. ETC. I would just reply have a nice day the other people at the table were generally on my side. I've hire rollers slam the table with their fist or not react at all to losing thousands. The worst and the saddest one that sticks in my mind is a guy who was around $2000 down on blackjack. He was nice. He was tipping pretty well. I was rooting for him. As a right ended to do. I knocked his tens for good luck. Then he lost a big one and just yelled duck so loud that the entire casino must have heard it. It was the kind of desperation in his voice and everything about him that told me he could not afford to lose as much as he just lost. He went to the ATM. And I rotated to another table. It was it like that. The goddamn smoke in my face. Sleep deprivation from the late nights that led me to get out of there. A lot of other unpleasant moments too. But they all blur together. Money was nice. But it wasn't for me. A gentleman at a poker table in the 5 seat unzipped his pants and urinated on the dealer. I never caught the signal the dealer used but it was effective as all the guys who normally collect boxes from the tables show up out of nowhere and removed him from the table like they were taking out the trash, well. They were. Table broke up so they could clean. Dealer showered and put on a new uniform and I saw her on the floor again a few hours later. Not a casino employee. But just the other day my father-in-law, security, watched an elderly lady lose everything at a poker table. 
and then go around and steal a couple people's purses wallets. When they confronted her and asked for ID, she wouldn't give it to them because they weren't the police. When the police arrived, she still wouldn't give them her ID or even her name, saying they couldn't arrest her if they didn't know who she was. Needless to say, they arrested her anyways. The last thing the cop asked her was, are you at least going to cooperate and walk out with us to the car? Or are you going to do it the hard way? They had to carry her out and she was kicking the windows in the back of the car the entire time. Edit, she was 63. I sat next to a guy. He drove a Pepsi truck. He said his mom died and left him $30,000. He'd never seen this much money before so he thought he could turn it into $100,000. We're at the blackjack table. He's getting wasted and crying inconsistently BC of his mom. Talking about her dying. The cocktail waitresses are cock teasing him the whole night and he tips them $25 s every drink. In 2 hours he loses everything. He has this look of nervousness on his face and said his wife is going to kill him if she finds out about this. BC they have 4 kids and wanted to buy a house. He walked out. 10 minutes later I go to my car and see that he got a DUI. In 24 hours. His mom died. He gets a ton of money. Loses it all. Will probably get divorced. Gets a DUI and is sitting in the back of a cop car with blue balls from the cocktail waitresses. Edit, I don't know if his mom died the same day he got the money. I didn't ask him about that. This was like 15 years ago. I watched my uncle lose everything at a poker table. So he proceeded to the bathroom came out with his pants off and throw them on the table and say pants plays. The dealer said we can't take your pants sir. He said why not you've took everything else? Needless to say he was escorted out of the casino very upset. Edit, blackjack table not poker table. Worked in the cage before becoming a dealer. Saddest thing I used to commonly see is people getting cash advances of $15 and paying a $7.99 fee to do it. It was $7.99 to get up to $100. With $15 being the minimum. They would pay a 50% VAG to piddle away $15 I guess they thought that big jackpot was just around the corner. Sat. A guy drove off the parking deck to commit suicide at the casino I worked for. Not an employee but my mum's friend won a slot machine jackpot. Security had to swoop in and save her because she was a very casual gambler and would use like 5 coins then leave. But that night on one of her first coins she won the jackpot. The people around her were gambling addicts and some of them had been working that machine 4 hours before and felt it should have been their win. So they tried to attack her for the money but she did get it. This won't have been a big win either because it was a small place but scary stuff. Obligatory not a casino employee. But. When I was in Vegas. I was watching a very intense game of blackjack on Fremont Street. The guy bet everything he had convinced, since he was on a winning streak, this would be the hand that doubled his winnings. Unchokingly, he busts. As soon as they swooped his chips away, he began slamming his hands on the table screaming what the duck. What the duck, with his girlfriend. Dressed in a cheesy tight mini dress and 7 inch heels. Screaming at him and telling him that he promised her a Birkin purse with that money and crying. An unsuspecting guy accidentally bumped into this irate dude and that just made him lose his it. A chair went flying. The guy he bumped into stepped up and starts asking him if he wants a piece of this. Shoves are exchanged. And the screaming starts just as a high heel is thrown straight past the sore loser's face and right into someone else's head. I wanted to stay and watch the throw down. But my boyfriend yanked me away with a solid nope. Just as well. Two furious looking Vegas PD officers were literally shoving their way through the crowd as we stepped away. <laughs> Haven't been in the gaming biz since the 1990s. But I've seen everything from tantrums on the floor to attacks on workers. The worst one though was some moron right out of prison with his homies lost his money on the blackjack table. Took it personally. Went out to his car. Waited for the dealer to get off work. Followed him and then beat the living it out of him when he stopped for gas. 
Had a guy jump off the parking garage and die. Had another shoot his wife's lover in the garage and kill him before killing himself. Priorities. My uncle worked at a casino for years. He had a lot of horror stories but the worst by far was this guy who lost a large sum of money playing cards. The second he lost he pulled a gun out and shot himself right there at the table. Not an employee but my girlfriend and I were at a local casino for dinner on Saturday so we decided to take a lap around the playing floor afterwards. We are walking by the blackjack tables and notice a small crowd around a guy who had a pile of chips in front of him. After it's clear he lost it all to the dealer he starts screaming that he couldn't lose and begins to slam his head into the table. Ends up leaving in handcuffs. I used to be a casino host on cruise ships casinos. Seen many people lose their it. But there is one woman that I'll never forget. She was gambling a lot. Towards the end of the cruise I would find her on the slots she was crying and playing. I asked her what's wrong and she said I cannot afford to play anymore. This is all on my credit card, talking playing crying at the same time. I banned her from the casino but it was already too late. I also heard stories from colleagues that used to work for a ration cruise company that they always would keep one lifeboat half flowered because Chinese people would jump overboard after losing all of their money. My friend just started at the new Catskill Resort Worldwide Casino. And has already said two people have been kicked out for having sex on the casino floor. And one guy got naked in the bathroom and started washing his clothes. They have been open two weeks. I was dealing high limit one night and a man lost his last $2.500 chips for a total loss of $30,000 in about 20 minutes. I know this guy and have dealt to him for many years so wasn't totally surprised by this response. He proceeds to stand up and tuck his chair in nice and neatly. He then squares up to me from behind his chair and rips off his own shirt. He was wearing a $400 Robert Graham. Buttons go flying in about four different directions and he lets out a primal scream. The other two players were so scared by his delayed reaction that the ducked for cover out of sheer surprise. I'm left staring at him with my mouth to the floor. He's heavily breathing and bare chested to his belly button and staring at me. I was left speechless as he turned and walked out the casino to his villa to no doubt break something else. Absolute meltdown. A friend of mine got on a hot run at a poker table in a casino. This other dude at the table is audibly protesting his disbelief at my friend's luck. Eventually a hand gets down to my friend and this dude. The guy had a high pair in his pocket cards. My friend has like a pair of 2s and hits a third to on the flop. The guy turns to my friend and says if you have a pair of 2s under there. I'm going to reach over there and punch you in the face my friend is trying to be like haha okay but the guy looks completely serious. It comes time to show the cards and my friend reveals his two twos. Dude immediately lunges at my friend. I guess my friend's friend was ready because he intercepted him and act the guy before security could come over and manhandle this dude. Friend used to work at a casino in Las Vegas. He said one day. A woman came in and gambled away about $30,000 which was her family's life savings. All their money. And also her son's college fund. Few hours later. My friend goes on his break and stumbles on the lady and her son, around 17-18, in the parking lot. And the kid is absolutely livid. He's screaming at her. Calling her every name in the book. Yelling that she ruined his life and he now can't go to college because of her. She's now dead to him. ETC. During all this. His mother is bawling like a baby and pleading with him to stop yelling at her and saying that she's sorry. My friend had to call security when the kid started to assault her. Punching her. Slapping her. Pulling her hair. Etc. When they arrived. Though. They saw him drive out of the parking lot and nearly, possibly deliberately, run over his mother as she blood just gushing out of her nose was lying on the ground and shrieking for him to stop very disheartening my friend said 